Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. There are a lot fewer wheat farms in the U.S. right now. In fact, USDA says the number of wheat farms in the country has declined by more than 40 percent in the last 20 years. Now, this graphic from the Economic Research Service details a drop. In 2002, there were more than 169,000 wheat farms in the country. But look at 2022, with the total number reaching just over 97,000. Along with the drop in wheat farms, there's been a drop in wheat production, which has remained below 40 million acres since 2017. And profitability, it has grown only a little more than $83 to $185 per acre for wheat over the last few years, while corn has more than doubled. Leaders with the National Association of Wheat Growers are hoping to address some of the profitability issues in the next farm bill. That includes improving the safety net and increasing the PLC price to bring it in line with the cost of production. They're looking at maybe doing 10%. So if we go from 550 to 555, is that really a, an enough of an adjustment to offset the cost of production? And I would have to say no, unless we're going to do meaningful changes to PLC where we increase from 550 to 650 or 675 so that the PLC price is more reflected to cost of production, then yes, we really need to be working towards that. But it comes back down to the lack of funding uh, in the farm bill and making those larger jumps in PLC are, are much more expensive. And so, uh, the, yes, we support an increase, but it has to be a, an effective increase. He also says they'd like to see changes to the crop insurance program, including improving coverage and lowering premiums in order to cover the cost of production. Exports are also an issue. USDA lowering U.S. all wheat exports this month by 15 million bushels to 710 million, remaining the lowest since 1971. 